In the meantime, Defence Council to the two journalists of National Pilot Newspaper, Mohamed Abdullahi and Oneshola Olayemi, have asked a revenue court sitting in the law in the Kwara State Capital to dismiss the case of direct criminal complaint leveled against him or them and their media outfit. They are asking the court to strike out the case for lack of local standard by the complaint therein. The duo of managing director of the National Pilot newspaper, Billy Adedamola, and a reporter, Ahmed Ajikobi, were arraigned before the Revenue Court in February 2024 following a direct criminal complaint levels against them by the senior special assistant to the Kwara State Governor on New Media, Olayinka Fofuluyi, in his direct complaint to the court, alleging offenses of criminal conspiracy, inciting public disturbance, injurious falsehood, criminal defamation, and cyber stalking. At the resumed hearing of the case today, counsel to the first and second respondents, Mohammed Abdullahi and Oonishola Olayemi, while arguing on a notice of preliminary objection filed before the court dated 15th of January 2024, prayed the court to refuse hearing the direct criminal complaint for being civil in nature by its con contents and filed without due process. The case filed by the complainant is filed in his personal capacity. So the challenge we are given that particular case is uh, that the complainant does not have the legal standing, that he does not have the legal capacity to bring this case to the court. Because the alleged injury that he's saying is suffered by somebody else does not affect him. So, and again, there's particular section that, that he brought, that is the cybercrime offense. This particular court is too small, that it doesn't have jurisdiction to entertain that particular case. We also raise uh, the issue of uh, cybercrime prevention and prohibition act, that this court does not have jurisdiction to entertain that case. When you look at section 51 sub 1 of cybercrime, Prohibition and Prevention ETC Act, you will discover that it is the Federal High Court that has jurisdiction over cybercrime, uh, any offenses related to cybercrime. So